Hey, what's up guys? It's Da Vinci, and today I'm doing a video showing you guys some tips and tricks on how to play the piano. So, I'm not classically trained or anything at the piano. I really taught myself off watching YouTube videos. Uh, I'm 21 right now, but I really started when I was like 15. Well, 14, I think I started when I was like 15, 14 around, but I really started like taking it more seriously when I was like 15. But um, yeah, I'm about to start showing you guys some cool tricks. Uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, so one of the things I always tell people who ask me how to play the piano, I always tell them the biggest thing you can do is learn the minor scales for all 12 keys. And now what I'm talking about is basically when you play in, in scale, every note you play, no matter which note it is within the scale, is always going to sound good with what you're playing. Not necessarily it's going to sound good, but it's going to be in key, right? So for example, the first scale I ever learned was C minor, right? And I'm gonna put it up on screen for y'all, but C minor is just C, D, D sharp, F, G, G sharp, A sharp, C. Now, as you see, any note I play within that scale is gonna sound good, right? So, for example, if I was to play chords using only the uh, notes in the scale, It's gonna sound good, right? And I'm not really playing any defined chords right there. I'm just playing like, you know, I'm picking random notes throughout the scale. And just it sounds all in key, right? It doesn't sound, it doesn't sound out of key. So that was the first scale I learned, right? C minor. And I really liked learning this scale because I used to listen to a lot of like older Zaytoven beats and really was inspired by them. So, and Zaytoven used C minor a lot. And I really just thought that was a really cool scale, right? Yeah, so after I learned the minor scale for C minor, I started learning the minor scale for all other 12 keys, right? And basically, once I was able to learn the scales for all these keys, I would be able to play in key of any song, any key per or any chord progression, right? So for example, if I was to play some chords in A, sh if, so if there was a song I was to in A sharp minor, right? I'll be like, I'll figure out which key it is by playing all the minor scales. And when I fight, figure out the right one, for example, A sharp minor, I'll be like. So it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but the biggest thing you can do as a producer, learn to play the piano is learn the learn all your scales right so like i said learn the minor scales for all 12 keys i'm gonna put a little like picture up on the screen over there well over here i think uh it's gonna be all the 12 uh minor scales for every key and i'm gonna put like a link in the description so you can look up everything um and the biggest thing you can do is practice like i always practice every day even though i can't i, I know all my scales right it's kind of glued in my head now like I know it, it's it's like in, it's implanted in my head, so I I can't really forget the scales. I always practice every day, you know, just to keep my, you know, keep everything like you know, uh, up to date and whatnot. Practicing new chords, practicing new riffs, uh, everything, right? So that's the biggest thing I would say, right? Practice the scales, right? Um, if you don't know which key is which, look it up and just study it, right? Study it like you're in school. Every day, just do like a little like test, test yourself, you know, and uh, you can learn it. I, I never knew how to play the piano. Like I said, I really taught myself. Um, if I could do it, you can definitely do it because, you know, I'm, I'm not musically trained or anything like that. I really just taught myself off YouTube. Um, another good tip I have for learning chord progressions is you got to learn the minor triads, right? So a minor triad basically is, I'll show you guys on the screen. A minor triad is a three note chord progression. Basically, it's um, three notes, right? The first two notes have two spaces in between and then the second and third note have three spaces in between, right? So, so for example, a C minor triad would be C, D sharp, and F, right? And there's three, see how there's three spaces between the D and the D sharp and two spaces between the D sharp and C? That's a minor triad, a super basic chord. It sounds pretty good. This is like the first chord I ever learned, right? And 
you can do a lot of cool stuff with this chord, right? Like, for example, if you want to make some like more dark type of vibes, you can go like C minor to C sharp major, right? Or if, let's say you want to do uh, some set, more sad type vibes, you can go to um, uh, what is this? To like a B diminished, like. Now that was like the first one of the first progressions I ever learned, right? C sharp to B diminished. And now that progression was used in a lot of like older Zaytoven, Metro Boomin type beats. And then the next thing I really learned for chords is that, um, you know, I started to do more stuff like, like this, right? Like stacking chords. Now I, be I believe this is an 11th chord. <laughs> I'm really bad at explaining music theory. I'm not, I actually don't know too much about music theory, but I kind of, I don't know. I'm just trying to share you guys tips. I'm not the best at this stuff, but uh, yeah, basically, um, there's a lot of cool tips to chords, right? Let's say you play a chord, right? Let's say you're playing C minor, C minor triad. A cool trick you can always do with chords is if you bring the chord down by five or up by five, it's always gonna sound good, right? So for example, if I'm playing like a, a more complex chord like this, if I bring it down by five, it's always gonna sound good. Now right there, I was transposing between different scales and whatnot. Um, and that brings up another thing. Let's say uh, if you're playing a chord, right? Let's say you're playing like an 11th chord. Or I believe this is a 13th chord. Uh, it's really cool to like transpose between different scales, right? So let's say I'm playing a C minor. I go to A. And that gives it like a cool little jazzy, like soulful feel. If you just like transpose the chords between different keys, you get some really cool sounds. But um, yeah, I'm about to try to make a beat, kind of showing you guys what I talked about. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is a, this might be a little confusing to watch, I'm not gonna lie, but I hope you guys picked up on the fact that you have to learn the minor scales for all 12 keys because that's so important to know if you wanna play the piano. But yeah, I'm gonna just start by making this beat. Um, just kind of show you guys like a little bit what we talked about. So I'm gonna start playing. Uh, I'm gonna start playing that C minor triad we were talking about, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a bass note with the C. Turn it on. And then I'm gonna go to the B minor or B diminished, right? Wait, let me redo that. I messed up. Okay, so I'm gonna start by playing this C, C minor triad. And you see how I'm playing within the key right there? Like, how I'm playing like G sharp and A sharp. As you see, as you see, that might sound a little complex or whatnot, but I'm really just playing the C minor scale. I'm not doing anything too crazy. I'm just like playing kind of fast in between the keys. But um, as you see.
gonna add a second layer, a third layer of strings right here. I'm gonna be playing the C minor yet again. Now as you see, I wasn't playing the exact chords as the first melody, but I was still playing in key, so, you know, I got some pretty cool little layers right there. Now for this fourth sound, I'm going to be uh, playing this normal piano. I'm playing it pretty fast, right, to give it that Beethoven type sound. But yet yeah, again, I'm just playing the C minor. But yeah, so, uh. Like, uh, this isn't this definitely is not the best beat at all. This is just kind of like a little demo to show you guys, you know, playing within this key, playing within the you know, playing within scale, you can make pretty cool melodies and whatnot. So, uh, the last sound I add here is the 808. see that um as you see right here right so like i was saying this isn't the best beat but as you see when we're playing key right um you really can make melody you really can make really cool melodies pretty easily right? so that's definitely like that's definitely like the tips i would give man Definitely learn all the 12 keys, the minor scales for all 12 keys, and just practice them every day. And yeah, I mean, um, if you do that every day, you're going to get a really good understanding of the piano. It's going to be like embedded in your brain. Once you once you learn it, you're not going to forget it. Um, like I said, so just keep practicing every day. Um, I'm not a piano teacher or nothing either, so uh, <laughs> just as, this is just my tips and advice. So I hope this kind of, I hope this helps out someone. I really hope it does. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys appreciate this video. If you guys like what I talked about, subscribe, like, comment, whatnot. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, peace.